So we've been doing our persuasive essays and I've been telling you that we need to follow the proper format. You're gonna be using this for years and years and years. So the sooner you learn it, the better. So I did an example for you. First, you start off your introduction with a question, a quote, an interesting fact. I decided to do a question. Have you ever thought about blank? You can give me any topic and I can write an essay on it using this format. So for this, I think we used the example yesterday of hamburgers, today I'll do cookies. Have you ever thought about cookies? Cookies are important because they are delicious, they make you happy, and I need a third reason. Maybe cookies are, are the third reason is always the most difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna fill in the blank about, I'm gonna pick my topic. Have you ever thought about what's my topic? This I said cookies, really teaching is mine. Um, teaching is important, so you're gonna put your topic again, and then you're going to give one reason, and then you're gonna give a second reason, and then the hard one is your third reason why your topic's important. Now this is the format you're gonna follow for every single paragraph after this. You're gonna name your topic. Topic is important because of, we're gonna put in our first paragraph, reason, one, and then we have to prove it. So this is where you give your evidence. You give um, one example of your, um, of your reason is gonna be your first piece of evidence. After you give your evidence, you're gonna push your thinking. Use a phrase, I chose, I remember, that was my push your thinking phrase, and then I tell a little story. And then I'm gonna go with another piece of evidence and I'm gonna push my thinking. And then I'm gonna go with my last piece of evidence for this reason, and then I'm gonna push my thinking. Then I'm gonna finish up that paragraph with that is why my topic is important because of reason one. It seems like a math formula. You're filling these things in. You're gonna do that topic reason one, and all these things. Then you're gonna start your next paragraph with your topic and reason two, then topic and reason three. Follow the formula and you will, that will take you all the way through your uh, educational career. You'll get fancier sometimes, but follow this and you're not gonna lose points, all right?